This is going to be a quick video response to the video put out by Mennonith regarding touch D-pad behavior with the Steam controller as shown in this video. I'll link that down in the video description. First let me pull up the Steam overlay. There's, I see just the most basic yeah, gamepad freaking configuration. To start off with, I set analog emulation pulse time all the way down just to show that behavior. Let me bring that down. Okay, don't got click enabled. Let me go and turn that off click. There we go. I never tried like using freaking touch D pad in the Steam Mapper interface anyway. But yeah, it seems like there's a little bit of delay even with it set all the way down. Okay. Now I'll bump up the analog emulation pulse time probably about halfway or so. And take a look at the difference afterwards. Definitely a massive delay difference once we can bump up that analog time. You know, it's not analog emulation, so it really shouldn't affect the behavior anyway, but in their mapper it does. Mm -hmm. Let me turn that back down. Much more snappy once you set that all the way down. So as was concluded that video, yes, if you actually use the Steam input mapper for the Steam controller and use touch D-pad, pretty much you want to make sure to set at least yeah, analog emulation pulse time as far as like far down as they'll let you put it. Mm -hmm.